Hey y'all, thank you for watching my channel. Here are the nameless files. These are John Doe's. Case number one, the Hot Spring County John Doe. On October the 20th of 1984, the body of a young man was discovered in a submerged vehicle in Hot Springs County, Arkansas. He was transported to the hospital and died just two days after he was recovered from the vehicle. Being less drowsy than his companion, the Hot Spring County John Doe drove the passenger's vehicle. He was described to be between the ages of 25 to 35 years old, 5 feet 8 inches, and 165 pounds. He wore tan pants, a sweater, a second top, multicolored socks, and boots. The passenger stated that he had picked him up from New Haven, Connecticut, and that he stated he was hitchhiking to California. If you have any information regarding his case, please leave a tip with the FBI at tips.fbi.gov listed below. Case number two, the Bell John Doe. On September the 19th, 1979, the body of a young male was found along the side of the river just hours after he had died in Los Angeles County, California. He was wearing a Hawaiian style shirt, blue pants, and white socks. He was believed to be around the ages of 15 to 25 years old. He stood at 5 feet 8 inches tall and 135 pounds. The cause of his death has not been published. There have been several theories regarding the Bell John Doe. It is thought that he had came from a European country, that he had been strangled according to the morgue photo, that he may have drowned, or that he may have been a victim of the serial killer Randy Kraft. It's been widely thought on the internet that the Bell John Doe was actually Larry Williams who disappeared from Long Beach, California, January the 25th of 1975. He was 15 years old at the time of his disappearance, but a such match is impossible to verify due to the fact DNA from the body cannot be obtained and Larry's fingerprints and dentals are not available. If you have any information regarding the Bell John Doe's case, please contact the Los Angeles County's coroner's office listed below. Case number three, the DeKalb County John Doe. On February the 26th of 1999, the skeletal remains of a young boy were found in Decatur, Georgia, behind a cemetery at a nearby church. The child was of African American heritage between the ages of five to seven and was about 3 feet 10 inches to 4 feet 2 inches tall and weighed between 45 and 60 pounds. The boy was clothed in a blue sweatshirt with a plaid design, red jeans, and brown boots. The sweatshirt was noted to be significantly larger than the child's estimated size. The boots have been sold in the area around 1998. Testing on the bones indicated that the boy was either from the surrounding area or they had possibly lived in the Atlanta area or Northern Florida. The cause of death is not known and no sus suspects have been noted in the case. If foul play was involved, he appeared to be healthy at the time he had died. It was originally speculated that the body belonged to missing child Dewan Sims, who had been missing since 1994 from Michigan. DNA testing in 2003 confirmed that Sims was not the John Doe. His case was also featured on America's Most Wanted with no results. If you have any information regarding the DeKalb County John Doe's case, please contact the Center for Missing and Exploited Children at 1-800-THE-LOST linked below. Case number four, the Bell Chassis John Doe. On February the 14th of 1975, the body of a young Caucasian male was found in Bell Chaussee, Louisiana. He had committed suicide by hanging himself with a bedsheet from a persimmon tree. He was believed to be around the ages of 16 to 17 years old. He wore a yellow and maroon shirt, blue pants, mismatched socks with no shoes. Leaning against the tree was a mason jar filled with a four-page suicide note believed to be addressed to his parents. He was 6 feet tall and 160 pounds. Some theories include that he may be Bayard Cousins. 
due to some physical similarities in the circumstances surrounding Hudson's disappearance. However, due to the fact that the John Doe's body had been lost and no DNA or dentals had been taken, it is impossible to compare the two. Case number five, the Clark County John Doe. On February the 16th of 1987, the body of a Caucasian male was found in a hotel room in Las Vegas, Nevada. He had died from an apparent drug overdose that was presumed to have been accidental. He was estimated to have been between 25 to 35 years old with brown hair and blue eyes. His clothing included a dark purple shirt, jeans, white socks, and a brown belt. He had given the name Douglas Baker with an address residing in the state of Florida, which turned out to be both aliases and a false address. He was 174 pounds, 6'4", and had unusually long fingers, which may help identify him in the future. If you have any information regarding his case, please contact the Clark County Coroner's Office listed below. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already. And hit the notification bell so you know when I upload my next video. And I will catch you guys on my next video.